Right, this video is to help you if you're a student studying for the AQA A-Level Economics exam in 2024, or if you're a teacher who's got students studying for the exam. We're going to look at the topics that might come up in questions this summer, and that will either be because they've not been tested since the new specification was first examined in 2017, or perhaps because the topic has been particularly in the news over the last 18 to 24 months. Now, before we get going, there's just one thing I need to say, and that's to remind you not to rely on question spotting as a means of success for the exam. You must study widely and broadly across the topics on the specification, especially as paper three is synoptic in nature. So let's turn our mind to what might come up on paper one. Now, these aren't in any particular order, but having said that, top of the list probably is stuff about costs, so in the short run, diminishing returns, and in the long run, minimum efficient scale. That hasn't yet been tested on paper one, so I really think it's time's coming. And perhaps if they didn't go on the cost side, they could go on the revenue side instead, so looking at um, AR, MR, TR curves, why they're different for price makers, price takers, that would be a good area to look at. Demerit goods, they've not been on the paper since 2017, and they're particularly topical with smoking and vaping. So that's a, a tip. I could see a question coming in that area. And beyond that, you're really looking at backwaters of a specification that haven't yet been tested. So little areas like um, asymmetric information and immobility of resources as causes of market failure. They should be, be part of your revision. And there's been nothing on economic methodology yet, either, since the paper was first tested in 2017. And so something like explain why economics is considered as a social science for 15 marks, that's a question that many students would find difficult unless they're prepared for it in advance. Another topical area is nationalisation especially in relation to the water industry, which has been a source of some controversy over the past couple of years. We then turn to labour markets, where we see, see that trade unions and strike action are topical areas. But also that wealth hasn't been tested on the paper since 2018. And so since we've had questions in recent past about distribution of income and, and poverty, Perhaps turning to wealth is a particular area to look at. Turning to pay for two macro, there are fewer areas which are yet to be tested, but a couple do stand out in the area of development economics, particularly the difference between economic growth and development, and perhaps evaluating the reasons why economic growth isn't always accompanied by improvements in development. Aid of the path to development is also an area which the examiners have not yet set a question on. Investment and productivity looks a likely area to me. The UK does have an investment problem as we invest a relatively low percentage of our GDP compared to the other G7 nations. And that's accompanied by a productivity problem, which is a significant constraint on our economic capacity. So that's yet really to be tested, and it is topical too. Um, so that creates a uh, winning combination, if you like, in terms of something that might come up on the paper. Unemployment is perhaps due for testing as well. Hasn't been tested since 2017. So that could come up either on paper two or on paper three. And it would make a great paper three question, actually, because it could be accompanied by aspects of microeconomics as well. You're looking at particular sectors of the economy where there have been labour shortages in the last few years and where firms have struggled to recruit in order to sustain the growth of their, their businesses. Other topical areas, well, recession and supply side shocks. So the UK economy has suffered a number of shocks in, in recent uh, years, um, perhaps most recently looking at the shocks of, uh, provided by COVID and also food and energy shortages and high prices of those things, partly associated with conflict in Ukraine. And we've had the UK economy teetering on the brink of recession 
in 2023 and technically going into recession in the last half of that, uh, that year. So that would be a topical area that the examiners could have a look at. Also have a look at trade deals because the UK has been trying to, in the wake of Brexit, negotiate new trade deals with, uh, with other countries. And the prospects for those trade deals and the possible economic effects of reaching trade deals with other countries. You know, for example, the UK would love to reach a trade deal with the USA um, if it could. And uh, that would be something that could be looked at in an exam question. Inflation, of course, and policy to control it has been very much to the forefront over the past couple of years. Inflation did reach over 11%, that's more than five times the Bank of England's target. And so possibly questions about how that might be tackled, whether monetary policy is an effective way of keeping inflation under control. You could easily see questions about that coming up on the paper. Economics Factory can help you prepare for your exams this summer. In relation to the topics we've just been looking at, we've created our AQA Star Papers 2024, which are brand new exam papers written on the topics that we think are most likely to be tested. Now, there are two micro papers and two macro papers, along with really detailed mark schemes, which will give you loads of ideas for the content that you need to use in answering the questions. Now, we're pretty proud of our track record on papers on due topics. So on screen now, we have three questions that we asked this time last year, or at least a selection of them. And you'll see there are seven topic areas where we're pretty much spot on, and even very close indeed with the wording of the questions. So you might actually care to pause the video now and just have a look at those questions in a little bit more, more detail. Now going back a little further in time to 2022, you can see that we were just as accurate in that year as well. Now one thing to think about is for any questions that we asked on our papers in 2022 and 23, which didn't actually come up, in some sense there are even more due for testing now. So from that point of view, if you buy the 24 papers we've written and you like those, why not go and get the 2022 and 23 papers as well? you'll find more material there that will really help you. Some of the feedback we've received on our papers on due topics has been absolutely wonderful. I particularly like this one. It comes from Amy Barrett, who's at Bishop Stortford College teaching there. And she says the exam papers on due topics have been brilliant for the last two exam series, an incredibly useful resource, and one of the most valuable items that we purchased. So all that remains is for me to say the very best of luck for your exams this summer. Study well, remember to revise broadly and deeply across the specification. Make sure when you go into that exam room that you're ready for whatever the examiners throw at you. Remember to practice writing under timed conditions as well, that's really important. And besides our papers on due topics, we've got a few other things at Economics Factory that can really help your preparations. Not least, these include a model answer to every current specification past paper question. So if you want to practice structure and if you want to learn exam skills of analysis and evaluation, those model answers are a great place to turn to. Thanks for your time and again, really good luck in the exam.